Dorsey, how good a start to the season was that here at Morecambe? Yeah, it was a good start, really good start from the players today. It really impressed me. I thought for the first five minutes or so, I thought we we started really sloppily. Um, whether the players aren't used to the, the long old journeys and getting going, but it's something that you've got to pick up in the development. But they've um, they've adapted well after the first five minutes. I thought we were miles better team than after that, and um, totally deserved the victory. The four one. I don't think it was any. I don't think it was flattering or nothing at all. Morecambe took that early lead, but that seemed to spur us into life, if anything. Yeah, they had, they had a good reaction from it. It was a good... They reacted in the way that it's happened and let's get on with it. And the positive thing was that they stuck to the plan and you never know, come away from the pan, start panicking and going along with direct. They, they got themselves into the game and I think even at 1-0 we were confident we were always going to turn it round. We've got the equaliser through Joe Kenton and then a big pile on after. Seems to be a good spirit in the camp. Yeah, there is. You can you can see it in the performance. Every one of them off the ball works really hard, presses, competes, and I think they feed off each other. I think they're working that hard for each other. That when they do score, they feel like everyone's been a part of it. So it's good to see that. And I thought it was a great first goal, great little move, great final pass, and Joe earned his goal. To be fair, he was good again. Come out and scored another three in the second half. What, what did you say at half time? It was more just keep the standards really and I just said to them if you perform like you did in the first half you'll win the game comfortably and they went out and first 20 to 25 minutes of the second half we won the game then and in the last 20 minutes we just had good spells and created a couple late on as well which is good. How good was that hat trick from Ethan Jones? Three goals in 10 minutes. It's, it's great for him to score a goal because all pre-season you could see him getting a little bit frustrated he was getting closer and closer and it's been like a bus one's arrived and he's got three today but he gets his goals for me, not just because of his quality of his finishes, it was hard work off the ball, he ends up earning the goals. On the whole, is that the sort of performance now that sets the bar for the rest of the season? Yeah, that's what we said to the players, I said if you perform like that week in, week out, then if anyone ever does beat you, they've earned it, and that's the standard, and we've got to keep trying to push the bar. The lads must be itching to go again now, home to Burnley next. Yeah, they are, but they've they've had a tough pre-season, so they've got an, they've got um, two days off now, so they can go and recover, rest their legs, and get to go again Wednesday training, and then look forward to Burnley. Bit of other good news this week as well. Firstly, Chris Gallagher called up for Northern Ireland for their trip, the youth team's trip to Slovenia. How good is that? An opportunity for Chris. It's great for Chris. We, when we did sign him, he was already in the setup, but. From what I'm hearing from Northern Ireland, he's just improved gradually throughout it, and he, he's been great for us. He's been he started really well. It's just a little bit disappointing for him and Matty Jones today that the international clearance didn't come through in time. So they were a little bit frustrated, and rightly so. But let's hope they, um, they get it through for next week and they go again. But they all felt part of it today, and rightly so. And I'm sure Chris will do well for Northern Ireland. And Harry Lewis called up for an England men's goalkeeping camp this month. Is that the sort of thing that will hopefully bring him back even better? I am. I'm not um, embarrassed to say this, but I thought last season that if Harry was going to be honest with himself, I don't think he really reached the heights that he was capable of. But this season, from start of pre-season to now, I thought he's been absolutely superb, and he's looked like an England goalkeeper for me. And credit to him, he's gone away over the summer, come back. He looks physically excellent and technically in the games, he's been superb for us. So. Just keep, keep, keep hoping he goes the right way and I'm sure he will.